So this is an ink that's exclusive to Atlas stationers designed by Ferris Wheel Press. And it's called Atlas Iron Ore. And sometimes I'm a little credulous about inks uh, and a lot of designer inks. But this time, and I'm not just saying this because Brendan's a lovely guy, but this time they really knocked it out of the park. So here, I can't never open these. I don't know if you guys can open these boxes. Maybe it's because I don't have fingernails, but I actually use my pocket knife and I slide it across the top like this and then I twist. So if you want to know what I use my pocket knives for, there's another thing I use it for. It's the only way I can get these boxes open without tearing up these flaps. And I don't always keep these boxes, but I really like this one. It was, it's a really pretty box, right? It shows the front of Atlas Stationers, has some nice silver color, and it's the charcoal of the ink. So it gives you a sneak preview of what you're in for. And here it is. Here's the actual bottle from Ferris Wheel Press. It's that genie bottle or perfume bottle, but then it has this industrial touch with this nut, which I still want to get my socket set on and see what the size of it is. This one's pretty large, so um, pretty neat. On the back here, it says Atlas Iron Ore. So really gorgeous color. The one of the things I don't like about Ferris Wheel Press, and there's very few things I don't like, it's actually pretty lovely, but when you open them, they have a piece of plastic sealing the top of the bottle. And I'm sure that's to keep it fresh, but I'm a messy person and I look at that and I just, I shrink in fear of this plastic stuck on the top of the bottle. So once again, I take my pocket knife, historically, and I jam through it and then I, I lever it off and then I throw it away. Now. Don't do that if you've been doing that or some version of that, because my wife saw me doing it with this bottle and she's like, you need that. Put that in the inside of the cap because my, my bottles always leak from Ferris wheel press because you need to shake them because the shimmer goes to the bottom. And the reason they leak is that I haven't been taking that plastic and putting it at the bottom of the cap. But I didn't know. I mean, it's a typical sort of, you know, knuckle-headed thing that I did. And of course, my wife knew immediately, like, no, save that. You need it. Put it on the inside of the cap. And now it seals like a champ. So if you've ever had trouble with these bottles and you're a knucklehead like me, and I say that affectionately, then put it on the inside of your cap and you'll be fine. What I really like about this and the way I think Brendan really knocked it out of the park with this color is that it's dark. The one thing I sometimes criticize inks, not just Ferris Wheel Press, but inks in general, is that they're not dark enough to give you contrast on the page. I feel like they're beautiful for painting or for expressing yourself with art or whatnot, or they just look fun when you make a swatch and you write next to it. But what I actually write with it? But let me show you this one. So as you know, I have my handy ink library which is a moleskin watercolor sketchbook. So not very high tech. It has every ink I own. Okay, so we have all these colors, all these months, all the new inks that came in the house, everything I review. So here it is. This is iron ore. So you get a hint of shimmer and it's sort of a bluish silver that actually reminds me of moonlight on a on a pond at night yeah because the moon it would only be out at night that's a bit redundant but you know what i mean so it looks like the edges of a rippling pond just a bit of shimmer a bit of magic but look at that writing i mean it's high contrast it's a beautiful color it's brilliant so i'm a big fan now it does have shimmer so for me i would not put this in a pen that I cannot field strip. That's my limit. If I can't take the pen completely apart and wash it, it doesn't get shimmer. And it might not get sheen. I wouldn't put sheen in my Conway Stewart in a Mont Blanc. I wouldn't do it. Or anything else that's hard to clean or expensive. But if it's designed to be field 
stripped, like the Lamy Safari or the Twisby Eco. Or anything that you can take apart completely, put back together. Twisbees are super easy. Just have to look out for the fins. There's plenty of tutorials how to do it. Would eat up an ink like this. So absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. I can't wait to put this in a stub. I don't have it in a pen yet. I've been writing with it with my dip pen. I did a little correspondence for Christmas and I used this ink. So I'm really enjoying it. So that's Atlas Stationers.